Mortal Kombat, a fighting game that introduced a lot of us to a whole new concept of gaming. A game that brought about a bunch of pissed off parents and hungry media due to an element that was taken to the next step, video game violence. They kept telling us how bad video game violence was, but they were apparently too stupid to realize that by telling us that, especially as kids, it made us want to keep playing it more and more. For a lot of us, Mortal Kombat was a game that introduced us to video game violence. For me, it actually did the impossible. It was the first game that directed my attention away from Street Fighter 2, a game I thought I would never stop playing. With all the things Mortal Kombat had to offer, we all know why we really wanted to play it. As far as story went, we really didn't care, and if someone asked us what Mortal Kombat's story was, we probably wouldn't have been able to answer that, but I'll be damned if we couldn't tell them how every character's fatality looked. And that was one of the main selling points of this game. But there was another thing that made this game stand out. Something that as far as I knew had never been done in any other fighting game, and as a kid, really amazed me. The character design. The way they made the characters look real to me was more impressive than the fatalities themselves. Now, while more Mortal Kombat's were made after the first, to me, the Holy Grail itself was made in 96, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. To me, this was the fighting game of fighting games. What better game for me than a game that took all of the Mortal Kombat games and put them into one? It was perfect. And then, it fucking happened. October 15th, 1997, a game that I considered an insult to Mortal Kombat was released. A game that from my view was a damn joke. That game was Mortal Kombat 4. I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with me on this one, but as far as I was concerned, this was not Mortal Kombat. The major change to the game came as a big surprise to me. However, nothing surprised me more than to find out that I was, and probably still am, in the minority. I was the only person in my group of friends that didn't like this game. To them, this was an evolution of Mortal Kombat. To them, it was Mortal Kombat being taken to the next level. To me, it was nothing more than Virtual Fighter with blood thrown in it. And I still believe to this day that Mortal Kombat wasn't meant to be a 3D fighter. That should have been left to games like Virtual Fighter and Tekken. Now guys, this isn't to say I don't like games being taken to the next step. And as we know, companies have always tried to come up with different ways to improve their games. But to me, the one thing that ruins a game is when improving it comes at the cost of what made you like it in the first place in order to take it to that next step. And if some of you don't know what I mean, play Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, and then play 4 and 5. Oh yeah, I feel the same way about Resident Evil 4 and 5, but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. But like I said, what ruins games to me is when companies change their game to the point that it takes away features that make the game unique. And to me, turning Mortal Kombat into a 3D fighter did exactly that. Of course, 2D fighting games already existed, but it wasn't being 2D that made it stand out so much as it was what 2D allowed the game to do, like using realistic character models. And to me, a fatality done to a realistic looking character has a better effect than one that looks like the character was made with Lego blocks. And I swear I better not ever see a Lego Mortal Kombat game. As we all know, more Mortal Kombat games were made after 4. And when I say Mortal Kombat games, I'm only referring to the fighter stuff, not things like Sub-Zero mythology. But as the newer games were made, while the visuals look better, and I'll admit I enjoyed Deadly Alliance and Deception a hell of a lot more than I did MK4, the Mortal Kombat feeling just wasn't there. I still felt like I was playing a bloody Tekken game. So I whined and bitched and moaned and continued to do so until this. Now this is what I was looking for. And for the first time ever since the release of that disgrace of a Mortal Kombat game known as MK4, I feel like I'm playing a real Mortal Kombat game. And I haven't had this feeling since I got Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And while I would say that this is what Mortal Kombat 4 should have been, well, that sounds pretty stupid since we all know technology hadn't gotten there yet. But even with that, I strongly believe that this is the true successor to Mortal Kombat 3. And Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Well, you get the idea. However, things still aren't perfect. With the release of this game, it seems that Mortal Kombat has gone back to its roots. But can its roots really carry it the same way it did before? Can what used to make Mortal Kombat stand out before actually make it stand out now? Ask yourself this, guys. If blood, gore, and realistic characters made the game stand out before, then what makes it stand out now? To me, only one thing. The title. Why is that? Because what used to make it stand out the most is now considered the norm. As far as blood and gore goes, we've seen that in a lot of titles this generation, and in some cases done before. Hell, a lot of the normal attacks in a game like God of War 3 look more gruesome than some fatalities in this. So a game that started out with blood and gore being one of its main features, and the present is now nothing more than a game that follows the same basic rules a lot of other games follow. 
In other words, what used to make Mortal Kombat stand out now makes Mortal Kombat part of the norm. So while Mortal Kombat to me will always be the best fighting games out there, of course besides these monstrosities, I wonder if it can still hold its own this generation. So my question to you Mortal Kombat fans, while Mortal Kombat succeeds as a fighting game, does it still succeed as a Mortal Kombat? Or has its main gimmick been used so much that it's harder for it to stand out as what it used to be?